How's it guys? Yeah, we're defying the odds. The wind's up. I don't know where it comes from. And a fish are all here. And quickly see if we can get a live bait. And we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna slide him right here. Since all the small fish are around, I would presume the predators will come looking here. So we're gonna try and see if we can slide him right here quickly. Yeah, double up. But they're a bit on the small size. We're looking for a bigger one to slide. Okay guys, the bait is out. It's over the rocks. But the wind's pushing hard, but we're still gonna try our luck. You never know. Down in the hole. Ah, there's a cameraman's head sticking out. He's having fun with the carrows and the stone rim. And a couple tovies around, just to keep him busy. Ah, on. Pull him. Or maybe he'll pull you. Ah, stone brim. Yeah, the day is arriving. And we literally don't know where to go. <laughs> the water is nice today, so it's a hard choice as to where to fish. Okay guys, so we slid a bait out here, yeah? keep our fingers crossed, hope for the best. Cameraman's trying to find a live bait to see if we can double our odds here maybe. Yeah guys, I heard a story <laughs> that the shed had orange rocks. So, to prove whether it's a true story or not, we are here. It's low tide, not ideal, but we're gonna drop a sardine or two inside here, yeah? out the front here. Yeah. Okay, sardine, hook right in the tail, and I've got a drift bait. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach, but we're gonna try and cast quickly and see. Okay boys, so after six or seven shots, um, just the peckers I guess. So we're gonna try and put a weight instead of the drift bait and see if we can uh, maybe get lucky and hit something. Okay guys, back to old school. Float, sinker, three-way swivel, straightforward. Proven method always works if the fish are about. Yeah, black tails or something, they go for the stomach first. Doesn't seem like they're shared around. We'll change tactics, put a smaller bait, see who's chowing the bait. Boys? Yeah, out the front, yeah. I saw a whale jump. So if they are here already, it's very early. So with them, or not long behind them, sardines will come. Hey, too late, man. Too late. But yeah, he's there, jawling. There you go, boys. These are the O's chowing the bait. Got you. Uh, some nice sized carrots. <coughs> Excuse me. They're right here behind the ledge. Right on top of the rocks. I lost two sinkers already. So yeah guys, day three. No fish. I don't know what's happening. Maybe these, maybe these hoes, they all lie down south. Check out the sardines. I hear stories about PE. I don't know. If you want a real, if you want the real story, I'll bring it to you when they are here. I don't believe in stories. I want to see them myself. So guys, if something happens, I will be there, and I will find them. As for the shed, orange rocks, I'm the only O here. I've cast out a couple places, this side, that side, everywhere. Just the small O's, inside the sand, probably blacktail. I got one carrow, but that was right up against the rock, so I don't know where the shed are. 
I know they're getting up North Scottborough side and they're getting Transkei. Not here yet that I have seen. I may be at the wrong place at the wrong time, but I'll find them. We'll see this afternoon. We'll do another session. High tide is at 2 o'clock, not ideal, but we'll go fish in the later afternoon and see what can we find. Fish. Guys, day number five. And there's a bit of a swell when the sets come through. And I'll push our luck and see if we can hook something. Orange rocks, we'll give it another try. See what happens. from Woodbank is gonna help us with the drone we're gonna fly something off orange rocks here and see if we can hook up something with the drone Leon welcome to the south coast I hope you enjoy your holiday and I hope we get a lot of fish thanks man I hope so too thanks for, for all the subscribers to this channel we must grow it for these people yeah that helps a lot I've seen we've gone past 2,000 already thank you so much guys please remember to give it a like if you like the content, if you haven't subscribed, join us. Guys, we're gonna fly at about 200, 250 meters. See if there's something with teeth out there we can, we can hook up with. Okay guys, we dropped it at 200, you can see the reel is half empty, I hope we don't get a thing that wants to run around. Okay guys, so Leon teaches people to fly the drone, he's a licensed drone operator. Um, you want to tell the people more or less what you do? Yeah, if you, you go, go for a course similar to, to an aviation course to, to, be, to become a pilot there's just some stuff they leave out the, the runways and that gets changed to a more uh, fixed runway that you pinpoint yourself you pin it on your drone and that's your, your runway for the day you land and, and, and uh, they go off, take yeah. off from there yeah, and then you, you, you learn all your, your, your rules and regulations as well of flying and where you can fly and uh, what time you can fly it's all in the courses to, to uh, get so your license it's not me going to the shop buy a drone and fly no you can do it you can but do you it. need yeah. to learn how to fly the yeah. drone first of all yeah. so yeah guys i'll leave the contact details if i'm allowed to in the yes. description and then you can contact leon he's from pumalanga um, 
and then maybe you can join him for a course and, and learn the finer things. Nothing. Empty. The ocean is empty. There's no fish here. It's <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, as you can see, we are packing up. 200 meters out, the bait came back untouched. We saw a little bit of fish in the water. I don't know what they were. Small shoal, maybe 10 fish swimming together. And some couple of chasers out the front, but it's deep out. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's not our day. We'll check it out. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys, for supporting us. We'll keep it coming. <laughs>